Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. I am filming my summer morning routine. It is a Tuesday. I have my summer classes today. So this is just the typical morning routine that I do before class. So I usually wake up around 8 and I have to leave my house by like 9.30. So this is just what I do every morning in the summer. First thing I do in the morning is wash my face. I cannot function until I've washed my face. I started using my Clarisonic Mia 2 again. I kind of stopped for a while and now my skin's breaking out as you can see like down here. So I thought I would just switch to this to get like a much deeper clean. I just used that paired with Cetaphil and yeah, just wash my face. I'm gonna put my hair up first, obviously. Just brushing my teeth. All right, I am back in my room now and it is time to make my bed because a clean environment leads to a productive day. Alright, so it is now time for skincare. I usually like to put on a podcast while I'm doing my skincare routine just to like have something to listen to. So for skincare, the first thing I use is a toner. I've been using the Glow Tonic by Pixi. This is just from Target, but it's important to be using a toner because it really cleans any oils out of your face that you don't want there and it also helps like prep your skin for moisturizer and it helps it absorb it better. So I just put some on a cotton round and put it all over my face also this one specifically is supposed to help with like your glow and help like brighten dull skin next I use a serum and I do some facial rolling this is a new thing in my skincare routine I've been following the skinny confidential and she talks so much about the importance of facial massage basically the story is that you have all these fluids that build up in your face and you need to physically massage them out or else they'll get stuck there and that's what makes your skin puffy so i've been using a jade roller i got this at sephora and they have it at other places too but you literally just use it to like massage your face and get all of the fluids out so i like to put on a serum before i go in with the jade roller because then i'm like rolling the serum deep into my skin and it's just like all good things so i've been using the ole henriksen truth serum this has collagen in it so it helps like firm your skin and give you like a glow so i just take a pump of this and then apply it all over my face and neck also this smells so good it smells like oranges and it's like so summery and then i just take my jade roller and roll my face there's certain ways to do this i just kind of get it going first but you're basically gonna want to push everything outward and then downward so i take the smaller side and gently go under my eyes and push it out and then kind of going down pushing everything to the outside and then pushing it down sometimes if i wake up a little late i don't have time to do this step but i try to do it every morning because it just like feels really good and it's like relaxing i don't know i just like doing it if i have time sometimes it turns my face a little bit red but that's just because it's getting the blood flowing so once i'm done facial rolling i just go in with my everyday moisturizer i've talked about this so many times it's the it cosmetics confidence in a cream next i go in with eye cream it's also the it cosmetics confidence in an eye cream i take a tiny bit of this not too much and put this under my eyes and also on top of my eyelids this basically just helps to like hydrate my under eyes um so that when i put makeup on it doesn't look all cakey and dry because that's the worst and finally i like to end with a mist so i just go in with the pixie hydrating milky mist 
and spritz this all over my face. And that is my morning skincare routine. I'm gonna brush my hair because it looks crazy. So before I get started with makeup and getting dressed and everything, I'm just gonna go downstairs and make myself a cup of coffee because I deserve it. It is time to start my makeup. I would still be listening to my podcast at this point, sipping my coffee. It's a very relaxing morning. I don't like to feel rushed in the morning. So the amount of makeup I wear to class depends on my mood. Sometimes I don't wear any. Sometimes I wear just concealer. But since my face is breaking out and stuff today, I'm gonna go for a little bit more coverage. And it's a Tuesday, so I have both of my classes today. So I'm there all day. So I need to start with a primer that's gonna make my makeup last. So I'm just using the Nivea Men Post Shade Balm. Next, going in with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I'm in the shade Medium. This has SPF, so if I wasn't wearing this, I would go in with a separate SPF. This gives me a little bit of coverage on my problem areas that I have right now but it's still very lightweight. It doesn't feel like foundation at all. Next, I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium and just put this under my eyes. And then just dipping my beauty blender into the Laura Mercier translucent powder and setting under my eyes, around my nose, just like the center of my face where I get like oily. So I don't really set my entire face with like a setting powder, but I just kind of go dust over it with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. This just kind of gives your skin a super natural like glow. Now I'm just going to use the Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer and just kind of add some color slash dimension to my face hi girl my cat is following me and then just taking this becca split thing and going in with the prosecco pop highlighter and just lightly highlighting nothing crazy Lastly, I do my brows. I just quickly fill them in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This whole makeup routine takes like 10 minutes, so maybe it looks like a lot, but it really is super quick for me. I have lash extensions right now, so I don't have to put on mascara. So this is the finished look. So I'm gonna go get changed now into my outfit for class. This is my outfit of the day. As you can see, I don't try that hard to look cute for class. I just like to be comfortable, so I'm just wearing these black leggings from Lululemon. This tank top I got at Brandy Melville years ago, and then my white Adidas. Okay, so for my hair, I try to do the least amount of work possible. I've been not washing it for like five days in a row, which sounds gross, but it's like really good for your hair not to wash it. You should only wash your hair if it's like actually dirty and washing it every day is like so bad. I usually go about five days before I really need to wash it, but just to freshen it up every morning, I've been using the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar and I really like it. I just bought this little mini bottle, but I'm definitely going to restock and get the big bottle when I run out of this. So I just spray my roots anywhere that looks a little bit greasy this just freshens it up so that's literally all i do for my hair and i just brush it out and we're good to go that's pretty much it for getting ready now i'm gonna go downstairs and make breakfast okay so for breakfast i usually have one of three things every morning either i make oatmeal or i make some kind of toast like avocado toast or peanut butter banana toast or i will have these gluten-free waffles from Trader Joe's. They're really good. So that's what I'm going to have today. They're super easy. I just pop two of them in the toaster. And then just to get some fruit in my breakfast, I'm going to cut up some strawberries and have a bowl of those. And I like to put a little bit of sugar on my strawberries because it makes them taste so good. All right, 
so now I'm just gonna sit and enjoy my breakfast. You may have noticed I didn't go on my phone and like check social media first thing when I woke up. I feel like that's just not a super healthy way to start your morning. So I try to wait on that. I know it's hard, like as soon as you wake up, you wanna check your phone. I usually check if I have any like texts or calls or anything, but I try to wait to look on Instagram and Snapchat and all of that until I'm like awake. So I'll usually eat my breakfast, scroll through social media, catch up on what I missed overnight, and yeah. All right guys, so I'm in my car now about to head to my summer classes. So this concludes my summer morning routine. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what other videos you wanna see on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.